I'm here with Coach Gibson, head football coach at Pleasant Grove High School. Uh, Dave Campbell, many of the uh, editors picked you as one of the top four coaches in the state of Texas. How does that make you feel? <laughs> well, humble, um, humbled by that. And, you know, basically you get picked that when your team does really well. And there's a lot of coaches and a lot of players that worked really hard for us to have the success that we've had. So I'm appreciative to our program. I, I feel like that's a program award. Yeah, I, I agree. You're pre- ranked preseason number one. Uh, I believe it's the first time in school history to be ranked preseason number one. Is that right? right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, tell me about it. What was it like? What was it like getting that call? Yeah, just really excited about it. We've been wearing shirts that say state across the chest for for five years and aspire to be a number one team in state and kind of do everything in our off season and school programs the best anyone in state. And to be able to say um, that we've achieved the goal and set a standard. It's, it's preseason, so it doesn't mean anything, but it is a compliment to our program, and, and, I, and I'm proud for our community. That's great. So 2017 brought a state championship to Texarkana, 2018 runner-up. How does this 2019 team compare to those two? Yeah, you know, it's you know, a lot of the same kids. They were on that two, 2017 team, so we have a lot of three-year players. Um, some of them didn't start in that, in that season, but then they carried the torch last year and uh, came up a little bit short. Um, so I would say we're more mature than we were last year and uh, 17 team was special and, and these guys are trying to be equally as special. I think the uh, number one thing they have going for each other is the tight knit bond and, and the relational aspect of it. Yeah, well you have some, you have some studs on this team. Uh, every time I pull up social media, I'm seeing offers from Alabama, Texas, A&M. You have a player committed to BYU. What is it like having all that attention in your program? You know, that, that's the awesome part for the kids. So they get to go on and have some really cool experiences when they're done at Pleasant Grove. And, and, and usually really good teams have really good players, and we have a lot of them. Um, we, we have some studs that you talked about that are getting national attention from the top universities. Then we have some guys that are that are undersized that are still getting offers from Division II programs, and, and that's special for those guys and their oh, yeah. families. So just really excited for these guys. That's great. Uh, so I did a little research. You're running the wing T, T offense, but you have a really great quarterback in Ben Harmon. How do you plan on utilizing him in what's really, I would say, known as more of a running offense? Yeah, so, so it's known as a running offense, and we do do that. But we throw more out of it than about any wing T team does. And, you know, it used to be spread here back in the day, and Ben has broke those touchdown um, records in a season two years in a row. Um, so, so we still like to think that we throw the ball and keep and keep things balanced, and we're able to be really efficient because of how good of a football player he is, and then our receivers and running backs being versatile and being able to do both. Um, so, try to keep people off balance, and really excited that we got Ben as our trigger man. That's great. Let's switch it over to the other side of the football. Looks like you have two of the top defensive ends, not only in the state but in the country. So, controlling that line of scrimmage seems like it may be no problem for you this year. Yeah, there's some really good guys that anchor that thing. 6'6", Landon Jackson, and 6'5", Marcus Burris. And then you got guys inside that are uh, that, that don't have the height that they do. But um, Jamie Lewis and Cameron Weekly are strong and stout and, and big-time high school football players. And there's a few more that are, that are in that mix. But a, a very, very good D-line, probably one of the best in the state. That's great. We look forward to covering the Pleasant Grove Hawks this football season. Coach, we appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Thank you.